Brent, you have one of the most fascinating critical mineral companies, in my personal opinion, in that you have the full supply chain from mining and exploration to the actual product, and you already have distribution in place. Would you say that's accurate? Yes, absolutely. So I'm not even sure where to start other than I was reading your objectives. Your plan is to expand international markets in the latter half of 2024, and you're working through FDA requirements towards launching sales in the U.S. and Europe in the second quarter of 2025. Those were some of the highlights I picked up on. Are those correct? Yeah, the FDA, uh, it's all uh, dependent on uh, our next financing, but uh, we anticipate uh, by, by the end of uh, 2025, we'll be in the U.S. market, and uh, the European market will follow after that. But it's uh, right now we're focused on launching our products in Canada. In the next six months, we'll have all our products uh, uh, tested and ready for market. And we're also signing distribution deals with international companies uh, that accept Health Canada licensing. And they are looking at selling our products throughout uh, the globe, really. So we have multiple distributors that we're in talks with. We've signed our first distribution agreement uh, recently, and we have more pending. Uh, we have POs that we're working on. And uh, the Canadian market is uh, ready for our products. And we have multiple clinics and the uh, Alberta government is also a, a big uh, supporter of our project moving forward. So for those of you out there going, Voyager Pharmaceuticals, what is this company? Your company, Voyager, boasts five licensed barium contrast products targeting significant shortages in second and third world countries. But you're looking at commencing manufacturing of your barium contrast products by as early as May this year, is that correct? That's right. We have a contract manufacturer who is uh, moving forward and funding the uh, uh, our product lines. So they are uh, we're getting all our inventory in, ready to start manufacturing and uh, using third party manufacturing and and bringing in uh, foreign barium sulfate to make our barium contrast for the radiology drug market. So we have our Health Canada approvals. We're rolling out in Canada and we're rolling out internationally. Well, speaking of that, I read that you're estimating $2 million in revenue after the first year and a potential to capture up to 30% of the market, generating up to $160 million. And this is an incredibly lucrative market. This is a very small segment. Can you help everybody out there that might be new to barium contrast uh, products with what we're talking about here? Well, there's about a $600 million a year market for barium contrast used in CT and X-ray. It's, uh, it's a oral contrast that is used to uh, help doctors uh, delineate between uh, your tissues and potential issues like tumors. And, and uh, it's, it's widely used. And we have the, the, the purest barium sulfate discovery out in Francis Creek uh, in BC. Uh, we are moving forward to, to build a quarry and mine our own ingredients, which will in reduce our cost tenfold than than what we're currently paying for, for barium sulfate. Uh, and this will put us in a very competitive position moving forward. Okay. I also read that following your initial sales in Canada, you're going to immediately, and, and I've watched you for a couple of years, so this, these types of aggressive milestones do not surprise me from you. You plan to start your construction of an API processing plant incorporating innovative technologies like the rain cage carbon neutral Eden system. Okay, what does any of that mean? Explain it to us, please. So we're very fortunate to be uh, partnered with Rain Cage Carbon Inc., who are uh, of a new technology that extracts uh, CO2 from exhaust streams, plus all the other pollutants. And uh, they have this technology where the carbon that comes off of that machine is a carbon fullerene. So it's a complex uh, molecule that has uh, anywhere from, uh, it's like a soccer ball, like the picture behind me is a carbon 60 fullerene ball. And you can get carbon 60, carbon 70, carbon 120. And we're working with Rain Cage where we can put a molecule inside there where they just announced that they successfully and commercially have created the first 
uh, vanadium fullerene called the meta fullerene, where they have a vanadium molecule inside. And we're going to start working with that to create a new MRI drug. And uh, that would be very disruptive because each one of those atoms has electrons and those electrons actually enhance the atom that's inside, making it a super molecule, so to speak, which in radiology will allow us to uh, create new drugs that are better than what's out there in the marketplace. My understanding that this 18 month bill aims to boost gross margins uh, upwards of 26 to 70%. I personally love your marketing deck and you have your new product. You have an introduction of Smooth X. Love the name. Okay. Elon Musk has got to love that. Can you tell us more about your Smooth X launch? Yeah, Smooth X. Uh... We, we began moving forward with SmoothX. Uh, we found that the, the market requested that we come out with our full suite of products. So we've gone head on and started developing those products. We have them formulated. We're currently undergoing bench test, testing with those products and moving forward into uh, patient testing here. So within a six month time frame, we expect to have the full suite of products that we're rolling out into Canada in the international markets. And, uh, and we believe that we're going to take a very good piece of that market as we move forward over the next year. Uh, of course, I can't let you go without drawing everyone's attention to your commitment to ESG, your environmental commitment and sustainability goals. Would you like to talk and share the vision for Voyager Pharmaceuticals with our audience, please, Brent? Well, Voyager is going to be the first carbon neutral pharmaceutical company utilizing this Eden system from carbon, uh, rain cage carbon, which allows us to produce a revenue stream from carbon capture. So their system is very, very unique in that it generates revenue. It's not a burden, it's a money maker. And that revenue is gonna finance our company moving forward to build out on our iodine contrast in the US and to build out our large uh, pharmaceutical facility in Alberta to become uh, a major player in this business. Well, Brent, thank you so much for the update today uh, and for everybody out there going, okay, I need to know more about Voyager Pharmaceuticals. Please go to their website, great marketing deck. You can access it all there. Thank you so much, Brent. Thank you very much.